Link stream. Link stream. Just kidding, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'll... Yeah. Alright, it better actually be live because I just said it was. Whoa! Nice, I was actually gonna try and look up all these. <coughs> All these things, except the website's so broken. I'm not having our own ticket, that makes things hard to find. <laughs> yeah, find I knew I was going like to miss that. It's actually not too bad, because we're the only east, the west one. Yeah. Oh, you just go by so west? Yeah, I've just been oh, sorting yeah, yeah. by west. Actually... It makes it way easier. It sucks for the east yeah. coast teams, though. Mm -hmm. But I, they're probably used to it. Yeah. Oh, you just go by so west? Did, west. Yeah, I've just been oh, sorting yeah. I should change the name of this. I'll be back in like one second, I'm gonna grab a drink. Right, we'll, right. we'll get started here soon. You can refresh yourselves on what happened this week. It's good. So it looks like, uh... There are no teams that are rated lower. Sorry, no team two owed a higher rated team last week. Are you basing it off of the ratings you guys made last week? Yeah, just nice. look at the stream. They're like on the bottom or whatever, the high, oh, okay. mid, low. Okay. Like, like there's a lot of like one. There's a couple one ones between like a high rated team and like a low rated team, mm -hmm. and a lot of two O's between like teams in the same tier. But at least that means there's no like. Super, super, super wrong results, I don't think. I'm, I'm trying to remember if I... Because I, I looked at all these matches, I had to put in all the results. I'm trying to remember if I remember the games very clearly. Because I was looking at all of them, just because I was curious. Yeah. I should really open up the Dota buff, honestly. This one's a little different than the last one, so I don't know how you want to do this. If we were like... Well, that's clear, but maybe move them up and down the tiers, like, as we go along. Yeah. I think we don't want to go through teams one by one again because it's, it's going to take time. way too long. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was fine for maybe the first one. For the second one, yeah. Just like if there's any standouts, I think that's, well, that's what I was planning on doing. But mm -hmm. Claire kind of runs this thing, so. Mm -hmm. He gets his drink. Oh, and we'll actually have a prediction screen. I wonder if Claire uh, wrote down the predictions from last week at all. See how many of those no, were right? I didn't write down the predictions from last week. I don't remember what we said. I remember Here's predicting your team to lose. That's it. <laughs> Hello? Hello. What? How'd you get in here? How are you in here? His powers, dude. Hello? 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 How are you? Are Magic? You? <laughs> nice. I can oh hear my, my stream watching in the this background stream. of yours, by the way, if you want to turn that off. I, I turned it off, I turned it off. Thank nice, you. nice. Alright, class is your thing, I'm gonna go through it. Alright. So... Shall we begin with what happened last week? Yeah, uh, okay, do you wanna go through all the matches, or...? Yeah, we can go through them all real quick. Okay. Uh, or, yeah. you know, there's gonna be some we just don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me just sort these. Okay. Uh, do you want to go by the order they show up in on Dota Buff when you sort by US West? We can do that. Let's see. I just sort of actually getting the same games. Dota Buff. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Did Redground actually use our fucking CDL team? He did. Wait, what? He used our CDL team on the ticket. What is CDL? Game. Captain's Draft League. Oh, the the drunks thing? The what? Wait, you mean the RD gamers? No. Okay. Alright, whatever. I'm lost. Let's see, sort by... US West. Oh, 
Oh no, and it's it, it's a scrim that was ticketed. Oh, I okay. I just That's I see it now. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. But yeah, so skip over that one. Yeah. All right. So the first one showing for you, I assume, is the Lilith versus Potato match. Nope. <laughs> GG, my dude. Right, I see. This... Uh, Shrieking Knight versus Crap. Oh, and mine's ordered people. by duration, by the looks of it. Yeah, that's the one I see. Here, Claire, oh. use this link. Wow. Because Imperial and I are doing the same thing, I think. Oh, you went to matches, not series. Yeah. Oh. I guess it just <clears throat> arbitrarily does it differently. Isn't series easier to look at? I don't know. All right, we can do it this way. That's fine with me. Uh, we'll start off then with Crap versus Inquisitor. Oh, uh, we ranked. What do we rank these teams as? Wait, is this the one I can click on? Yeah, it is. So we had b both of these teams in our in our low tier last week. Uh, Inquisitor's yep. draft looked kind of all over the place. Very early Shrieking Knight pick. Grab Serrano super early. Crap with the classic. Pick a really low player in the first round. Then follow it up with something random. Is a little bit different than picking a low player. Uh, and then pick a Malefice. But he won 2 0. I mean, personally, I'm very surprised you guys put Crap's team in the low tier. I think his draft could have been better because I don't think his second pick was as good as it could have been. But in general, like first picking Dead Prez was a pretty viable strat in this draft. Well, it looks like they're pretty yeah, well. They're putting. Well, mid. Yeah, yeah uh, it looks like he did really well both games. Put him on Zeus yeah. and Viper, pretty like classic ancient mid heroes. Crap went ham in the safe lane. Yeah, I think the issue we saw with them is that they literally drafted only players that are best at supporting and mm -hmm. making them play off role. That it was more that that person wanted to play a different role, which is if he does, like, you know, I trust him to play decently. I think. He already plays support like a core anyways, you might as well, right? Yeah, Dude, no, that's what, I, that's what I've been thinking. I don't know. It's weird to me he's been on support for so long, considering the style of which he plays it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cursor showing. One second. Yeah, I don't have a lot to say about the match. I don't know a lot of the players. Crap went off. Here go. Jesus, the fuck? Oh no. Man. Wait, was this? Yeah, I had their. Uh... Yeah, Le okay, Legion did show up to this one. I'm just double checking. He was the free agent who was added, like right before the match. Yeah, okay. Good then. And it looks like they actually played without Malefic game two. I, that might be worth noting. Oh, really? I didn't they actually played that. without their second highest tier player, and they still won. So yeah, we may have underrated crap a bit there. That team actually looked pretty solid. It's also, the team they're playing against, though, I think is. Very weak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the weakest ones. I think it kind of confirms that for me as well. So it's really hard to judge off of that game, I guess. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, it's always going to be hard to judge off of these games. They're all going to be super subjective. I think it's also like in these kind of leagues, you can like with like draft and laning, you can kind of just instantly lose if you get like outplayed there. But whatever. Next game is H versus Potato. Looks like, or I don't even know who the captains actually are. H versus yeah, it's H versus yeah, Potato. That's right. It's potato. Yeah, it is Potato. Okay, okay. Street eaters um, and booby booby sized hookers. Yeah, I, I was watching that dumpster fire at game two. Yep. Yeah, that was so, very interesting. Uh, something else. That was something else. Yeah. We all saw that. Uh, Both games just lasted forever. I think H should have probably two out this both games, week. Yeah, Mechia just went ham both games. Mm -hmm. If Mechia's not doing that, though, I think this team is very weak. He's also got Lifestealer both games. Second pick mm -hmm. the first game, last pick the second game, which is a bit I mean, weird like, to me. I mean, just like look at their, his team's scores compared yeah. to him. It's like no one, no one else is doing well despite the fact that he's stomping, which is kind of a bad sign, I think. It's the same on Potato's team, though. Whereas Potato uh, versus the World. It's, it's a little bit different when you're... It's a, well, it's uh, in the second game, Sandy did well. In the first game, though, it's Potato versus so, the World again. So, when you have a Divine 5 team, you're, the rest of your team is just going to objectively be worse overall, compared to like a, one of the teams that has like a Divine 1, Divine 2, sort of. Yeah, kind of like my team. 
True. <laughs> Though he was True. missing his one of his picks, MJJ. Oh yeah, this week true. I think that's part of what's like required to hold that team together. Is the I think even with of like if they almost mowed without MJJ, that's I think they're just the stronger team here. Yeah. Also, I, it's kind of weird. Worth noting, this is just week one. Like, yeah, all these teams have been turning things around. Of course, of course. Nope, no, they're fucked. Potato's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> it's over. Potato can't win. I'd yeah, pack it in. Potato's the exception. Potato's trash. Yeah, I, yeah, everything's gonna be super weird and subjective. So but... while we're going through these, should we be doing like the hey, maybe move these guys up or down if if we feel something is sure. like out I'm of down place? For that. Yeah, because that's think... all we have to look at is like the matches. There's no other evaluation of me now. Yeah, I mean, oh, Senior has just I messaged me and said he is missing Slammy as well. Except the difference between missing oh, MGG yeah. and missing Slammy is that you expect to be missing Slammy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I forgot that Slammy. Is. But yeah, Slammy is Slammy is missing here, so mm -hmm. they're both missing their second picks, I think. Third picks. Mm -hmm. Third so, picks. Assuming for some reason, Slammy gets you know replaced by a completely different person named Slammy and actually shows up. Uh, I don't feel like that team's gonna be that good. I'm, I'm yeah, I guess fine leaving all these teams where they are yeah. so far. Yeah, so far. It's like Potato will just solo carry some games and then. That, that doesn't happen. Like they'll just lose. I think. Yep, and it's getting a lot harder to solo carry games nowadays. Mm -hmm. As a carry player, I've definitely noticed that recently. No, you're just you, can't just, you can't just win by yourself anymore, even with pick off heroes. It feels bad. Yeah, it's pretty hard when you dive their fountain like twenty minutes into the game. True. Oh, yeah, watch your scrim today. Watching truck dive T threes, kill both supports, have <laughs> all the cores rotate. That was pretty solid, honestly. I got a tower out of it. So dodge the power shot, but. Right. So next right, up anyways. is uh, Waifu versus Big Fella. I don't think I looked at these games actually. Uh, they looked, at least the second game looked really close. Uh, Waifu got like close hella too. fantasy points from these games, so it must have been doing something. I mean, both are both are over an hour with like reasonably close kills. They had to uh, win those games. Looks like Waifu was owning in both mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. But. The rest of his team. And the rest of the team was. Okay. That was like exactly what we expected out of that team, though. Yeah, well, I was a little much. concerned about the waifu mid switch, but. He looks to be doing fine. He though. looks to be doing fine. Yeah. Same sort of thing, I think. His waifu will carry some games. If he doesn't, they just auto lose. At least for now, at least. Like, maybe they'll figure something out with, like, some kind of. 730 playing carry? Really? Just yeah. Like... yeah. No, he switched to off lane. In one of the games, let's play. He played the first no. game offline. Then no, he's he's like, carry on, carry, carry on. on. <laughs> okay. I'm yeah. I'll be interested to see how some thirty does. It looks like I think he kind of threw a bit in the second game, from what I've heard. He his score doesn't look great either, but he may improve over time. Like if he gets better, and he like becomes like close to something like a Mechia or a six five nine as a carry, like this team would be really solid. I think. But for now, so it's think, just waifu versus the world. I think the most concerning thing is that they lost lanes both games against one of the teams that I think has like some of the weaker lanes in the league. What? Really? Yeah. No, I think I, I think uh, Big Fell's team is one of the best laning. So this team is not significantly different than the skater Mateo, and then no, I'm, I'm talking about during lanes. No, okay, so Satan's best. Best part of Satan's game is his lane. Best it, part it, of Luke's game is his lane. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Not Gabe, though, I guess. Okay, so, like, that team lost every single fucking lane last season and always made comebacks, right? And it's, like, a very similar team to that with, like, two solid players and then the rest of the guys who are just fucking around. It's, like, a, it's, like a, it's another Panda Gabe, two good players, two shitty players team. And they lost lane every single time. And this team, like I, I feel like it should be the same. Even though it has Luke, like Luke is probably a better laner than both Mateo and Skater. Yeah, I think Sane's better than Skater at laning as well. Like I think, I think they got big upgrades in the, the laning department, but their late yeah, game is not going to be the like, same as. I don't, I don't think like they're strong as in, the Skater with you. I know they were miss. We scrimmed them and they were missing Gabe, but I don't feel like they had any trouble in lanes at all. It's really easy. True. Well, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that like. Regardless of how good they are, the fact that they got they crushed Wifer's team in lanes both games is kind of concerning. Yeah, that's fair. But it's like if Wifer's against a different mid laner, he might 
the, the game might look different, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, if Waifu has an easier mid lane matchup and is allowed to snowball even harder... Also, they lost lanes picking, like, Enigma and Anya as cores. Like, how do you even do that? <laughs> that, that is admittedly impressive. Yeah. I know, it's because it's like... They lich the lanes, I don't know. Dude. That's true, yeah. I have Morphling and Lich, actually. Yeah, we yeah. didn't watch the games where like all we can do is like wait a dota buff, so it's not gonna yeah. be accurate. It's, That's fair. Uh, I was gonna watch what I know know this. To get it's like sure they have Enigma Omni Knight, but they also the other team also has Lich, Shadow Shaman, Morphling. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Who knows? I think. Uh Fire. let's move it on. I think both those teams are still in the right place, uh -huh. mid and low. I, don't, I can I don't roll think... with that. I think Big Fell's team is a little bit of concern for me, but they're probably fine for now. Yeah, waifu's team's concerningly waifu against the world. What's up next, Mr. Treebeard, and your match order? Uh, looks like Archie Fan Club versus uh, Danny. Oh, Claire versus Danny. That was, yeah. uh... Claire was absent, they used to fall in instead. That was interesting. Yeah, I think the, the outcome of that series is a bit deceiving because of that, personally. I may be a little biased, because I... We kind of owned them in our scrim. Yeah, we won one limit in our scrim, but we definitely threw the other game really hard. It was our only scrim loss. Yeah. Oh, did they um, use Fall in both games? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize I that. Think, I feel like one of the games is just, like, Fallen playing his best hero. Mm -hmm. Like, having a really good game. And Waves not feeding somehow, which is unusual. <laughs> and then the Wait, other game is just T-Swift stomping with Pugna, which he does. Yep. I mean, everyone did crazy well that game, honestly. That was pretty hardcore stuff. It's like... Yeah, it's yeah, not Jesus a Christ. score you see very often. That is, that is, that is uh, a gold graph. I see OD, mm -hmm. I see loss. I'm not surprised. Yep, I agree. <laughs> uh, do you know what the situation is with that team, by the way, Admin um, Treebeard? Yeah, Claire has not figured out if that's going to be like a permanent schedule thing or not. Okay. Uh, for anyone who's not aware, but she has classes rather abruptly, like literally during that time, because it's, what, 15 hours later? Which is Monday yeah, it's like her that. Monday morning, she just got her schedule, she has classes yeah. during match time. So she may end up getting replaced, we'll just see what happens there. Okay. Yeah, that team's still not very impressive to me. It's like It looks like Danny's team kind of fluked the first game, and then really showed us what they can do game two. Mm -hmm. I'm a little tempted know, to want to do that. That's also concerning that they won one but... this. Yeah. Uh, the fall. I think the fallen stand in is also maybe a little overpowered. How? I I, I don't know. I've played I've played against both those players, and I think fallen's better. But I don't know. After playing an entire season with fallen, and then watching a bunch of his games last season on Luke's team, I'm not impressed. That's. F Fair as well. I don't think he's incredible. I just think he's better than Claire. So he's a very like AFK farming player. All right. All right. What's That's next? fair. Next is our match. Looks like Aquafol versus mm -hmm. Gator. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Super easy to just pick Tinker constantly with our heroes. KBX actually went ham that game too. KBX oh, went ham both games. Yeah, mm -hmm. your mid player's been pretty impressive, I think, watching yeah. scrims and... Definitely legit. And then the other Not game, the lanes were definitely worse, and Skater actually had a really Lanes good were worse because our position 4 went Edict first, Lesh yeah. Rack, and Aggro <laughs> mm -hmm. Tri Lane versus Monkey King. Thanks, Rack. <laughs> It's okay, it's a learning experience, yeah. Yeah, but but we managed to pull it back and I think that, you know, grows a team together. <laughs> no flaming. Everyone Very was awesome. really nice about it. Yeah. And uh KBX owned this game too, actually. Yeah, KBX won both games. Good. That's wow. because fucking Skater just left mid and kept ganking me for like, the first fifteen minutes of the game. Yeah, Skater did not farm at all. Second game. He played really well, actually like made good rotations and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But like Zeus took his tower before he took Zeus's <laughs> yeah, tower. What? So there's like an issue. <laughs> He legitimately was not mid lane, he was just like hunting my ass. And then he rotated top a couple of times, like post 15 minutes, if I remember correctly. But I don't, I don't know. I don't think they were that bad. I like that has the highest last hit in this game, that makes no sense actually. It's not remotely surprising, dude, it's me. 
Yeah. The axe game? I don't know, really? dude. I see. No, no, the DK game. No, I didn't oh. have the most in the, the axe game. What? Yeah, DK game has the most lost. It's in the game. The LC game, I had 400, but half of that was trance. Oh, nice. the DK. Okay, the DK game is because at 10 minutes he had 80 last hits, and I had like 30. <laughs> the rest of the game had 30. It was like Axe had 30 or 80, DK had 80, and then the rest of the game was yeah, like I also 30. Just, Axe. I did just a little bit, legitimately just farm a shitload that game. Because I didn't really feel like I had anything better to do. You had such a late Shadowblade time, and I didn't feel like I could do much before that, and then yeah. uh, Skater was just running around slaying shit. Do you know? Do you know what you guys' uh, record is right now with scrims? In overall games? I feel like I see, like, every time I watch you guys, you're winning. We're 11 and 1 or 9 and 1. I forgot how many scrims we yeah, I'm, like, yeah, honestly pretty lot. tempted to move you guys to high tier. I know. We've... I was talking to someone else who was also, like, concerned I mean, about your team. One of the PST 12 guys. Between, like, KBX has been playing really well, and I haven't lost a lane yet. So, like, I don't know. We, I think we've just had like. We've also been. I think people have been. Over over again. <laughs> people have been drafting really bad in scrims. I think. Yeah. People are always like trying stuff out, so it's kind of hard of to course. tell early on. I assume you guys have been trying some stuff too, right? Well. Well, we've already identified like half the hero pool that Rack can't play. <laughs> <laughs> nice progress. We'll see. This this week's. Matchup should be pretty tough, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up against Polo Snail Clan, Polo. which yeah, we'll get to goes. eventually. All right, next game. Next game. Mm -hmm. Blender versus Red Ground. Oh yeah, so I was actually I was thinking this would be a little closer than it was. I thought both of these teams looked pretty strong in scrims, but Red Ground's yeah, team they did. dominated. Like Red, Red Ground's really team looks really ground. good right now. Dude, Hyper owns every game I see him play, except for these just, ones. He just had... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I thought, like, Hyper was super good or something, but he just didn't have bad games here. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, I guess. I mean, he's an Ember versus a Monkey King one one game, I don't know. Yeah, so, that, that seems like a real to... cheese win pick. Do anything. Game. Apparently, Cam had to, like, spend the entire two minutes of reserve time convincing Red Ground to pick it. <laughs> Which is pretty fun. I don't know what happened in game two. Maybe it's just tilted. Luna. He's also safe lane, which is a little harder. Blood Ninja is now Divine 5 player. What? Yeah, Divine Wait, he's not like team. Jesus. Ranks are so fucked now. What a yeah. player, dude. Also, yeah, I think that Monkey King pick was really good. Like, yeah, it was. was. Like that, there was no way Blood Ninja could lane. I mean, Red Grass team looks... E even with the cheese pick, they look like really solid all the way through. I mean, Ratman's been, like, owning. I've been watching a lot of their scrims. Ratman owns. Red Ground wins his lane. I think Cam is doing pretty well as well. Yeah, and I've, I've been playing on a CDL team with Red Ground, and he's a fucking retard, but he's a really good captain. Yeah, Red Ground was playing... Abilities. Red Ground was playing Viper and Bloodseeker, and he bought a Yule's both games. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> it's powerful, dude. Well, like I said, retard. <laughs> These are both heroes that like you just TP away from, right? Kind of makes sense. They Blood are, Seeker yeah. Especially. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, I think that's gonna be one of the. Right now, they look like one of the top top five teams. I think Red Grounds team. Mm -hmm. PST Sun's finest and all that. Uh, Blood, I we'll have to see how Blood Ninja does next week. This this week seems. I don't know really if that's rough. enough to move them down. Yeah, I think they might have just lost like uh, a. I actually almost don't want to really like, change team. any of the tiers. It's like so hard to tell with the week one. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't well, yeah, well, if like, there was like something really that got two owed by a lower tier, I think I'd move. Yeah, it. yeah. no lower team two owed a higher team. I don't think that's so. happened. Yeah, yeah. No. All right, let's move it on. We are pretty slow. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see, looks like Ripley versus Claire. Right? Monkey Giga. Can tell us about that game? Uh, yeah, that was pretty games? rough. Aside from the fact it looks like Ultra carried, and Fiery didn't. Yeah, that team seemed really ultra centric still. Uh, Shazam as and Awful Waffle, I think, proved to be pretty good supports. Which isn't that surprising, I guess, considering they're one of the higher ranked support duos. Truck, we 2 0 them in scrims, right? You did. Yep. Yeah. Well, you no, did I did. Play. What? Tree, you didn't. Hello? Yeah, you 1 0 You weren't <laughs> in one, one of the games. Game. <laughs> I played one game. So, 100% win rate. I think we got outdrafted. Yeah, it's, honestly like, it's always going to be. 
it's always going to be a crapshoot, right? Because it's early on scrims. But just whenever you lose to a team who like didn't have one of their better players, it's a little concerning. We also didn't have our third pick, so you know. Mm -hmm. that Same thing, really. Sure, you can. Yeah, yeah I uh... absolutely ruined my fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Th I do think uh, they outdrafted us pretty hard, though. I think Awful Waffle knew yeah. what he wanted against an IO pick. We went for an IO mm -hmm. pick both games, on top of other things. So yeah, ultra solid. Yeah, Awful Waffle's bounty was really good against us. He basically kept yeah. on that game. Yeah. I don't got much to say. <laughs> Feel, felt Same. bad. It's whatever, though. It's well, we, got, we got new ideas from that game, actually. Yeah, so. it was definitely a learning experience, which I think is always a good thing. Not just a loss that you have to walk away and be mm -hmm. sad with. So, yeah. I'm, I'm still feeling okay about our team. But I'm, I guess I'm a little more confident in Ultra's team. I'm actually... I didn't think... I didn't think the Ripley team was very good beforehand. Really? They're pretty good, their yeah. supports are... I think their supports are kind of what convinced me. The supports are solid. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Who's up next? Uh, that's the... See, when you order it like this, we're getting repeats. Yeah, this order is like... Just go to, go to series. It's a weird XD. What? Kind of late for that, though. Alright, Virtus oh, Glow shit. versus yeah, Butter right. Boys. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, Sorry, no. I yeah. expected this to happen. I'm prepared. Yeah, yeah I don't have any repeats. What's happening? What? Oh, once you start going down further. Uh oh. It labels it as a series, but it's every single game, actually. Yeah, no, it's because you go to That's series dumb. instead of matches. That's mm -hmm. what I was doing. Anyway, though, that doesn't matter. We'll just go straight to, uh... What team is this? Oh, Ion Dissonance versus Rabbi. Oh yeah, Doka on both games. This is quite game. the blowout. Also drunk oh, yeah. a -tran <laughs> And hung over A-Tran. Juicy rumor for those that aren't already aware. A-Tran went out drinking very early in the morning, came home, passed out, and woke up just in time to lose two SEAL games. Or PSD Sun yeah. games, even. I'm gonna be honest, if A-Tran's like, not on top of his game, this team's never gonna win. Yeah, they, they got uh, nothing to back him up. They got wrecked. Yeah, they got wrecked. Uh, Doka proving himself not to be the boosted invoker player. The mini tournaments described him as, <laughs> perhaps. Yeah, I, I want to see him against a better team. Yeah, yeah this was the the one questionable high tier choice in my mind was on distance. So it's nice that they two out to kind of. Oh, you guys put them in high tier? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Uh, Red Ground Red was Ground really high on them. <laughs> and Claire and I both thought they were garbage, but we didn't know any of their players. Yeah, I've actually I, I, played I with Doka like since it. then. I've played a um, Battle Cup with him, or two actually, and he is a really solid uh, shot caller. Uh, okay. I, I think. Like, I'd heard that he was, like, called before. I don't know. He, like, just calls the whole game. It feels the good. Atron confirming he's, he's drunk in the sense. chat, so I was correct. <laughs> nice, guys. Lamau, oh, my bad. I need, I need a drink for this. Right back. <laughs> so yeah, the on Disney's team proving themselves not to be garbage. Rabbi, not doing the same. <laughs> uh, I think they'll bounce back. Yeah, I think Atran in good form. Maybe the team chills a little better. They aren't out yet, but that is definitely a rough week one. And then let's. Oh wait, I did a new tab this time. Ba 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 bum. There's crap again. All right, here we go. Ploopy versus Sasquatch. No. 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 Ploopy versus Gofu. 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 Close enough. It was a meme name. So Gofu didn't show up for this. Did they get a stand-in? I don't think so. That's not the Gofu uh, way. I don't know. Uh, it looks like they so. didn't. But still a one one. Yeah, they went one one with the stand in for Gofu. No stand in. No, no, no stand. Sorry, no. I sorry. I mean, like you know, stand in for Gofu. Right, right. Yeah, that's a it's a good sign for them, I guess. Looks like Alan Podge went pretty ham on the mid clinks. Played against this in a pub the other day. Mjolnir into Hex. It's uh, it's. I'm weird. not sure it's good, but it's pretty good. Alan Podge can I like it actually. Go into games playing good shit, he has to play bad shit and make it look good. <laughs> That's, That's like everything Elm Pudge does, is like, this doesn't look good, but he's owning. 
Because, like, I don't know if you ever get a Maelstrom over a Deso. I don't even think that makes you farm faster. I think you would straight up farm faster with a Deso than a yeah. Maelstrom. So, I mean, I you can actually push just... out waves and hit towers with a Maelstrom. That's what I like about it. It's like, the only way to you push can do out that, though, the Deso, too. You kill creeps yeah. faster with the Deso than a Maelstrom, I think, even with the lightning bounces. I don't know. It's questionable, but, like, they went 1-1 against a team... That we thought was probably going to be the best team, if not one or of the top maybe three. Maybe the best. It's like really 50-50, depending on how sandbagged haunt trash they are. I yeah. think. I think the well, Ploopy kind of showed his hand game two with the, the Pugna. Wait, is Ploopy also missing their first pick? Oh, no. No, he's playing. Mm -hmm. Dawn is there. It's a color, color and Bumbird were both there. I honestly want to just watch this game, because I don't know how you... Throw shit out the window that hard. It's like this cannot just be uh, on budget carrying. There had to be some dumb shit going on. I mean, I've been game two. They win, but I mean, Clint can working. solo carry pretty easily. I guess he was against an Ember in the <laughs> lane. So I think this team is really reliant on Ploopy to carry them because their second best player is on support, and Bember is on like five. probably better than his rank, but he's still learning. It's like they, it just seems like they were doing okay. Like in the lanes, and then just as soon as lanes ended, it was a fucking disaster. I mean, they just died all over the place. I don't uh, know. I can kind of see that happening with their team. Mm -hmm. I mean, DK died three times in five minutes. As soon as lanes broke down, Virion died three times in five minutes. Uh, real bad. Having their last pick rotate safe lane, and I know in the official scrim, Imua seemed to like own, so he might just also mm -hmm. be a better player than. The other guy. What's the rank? Legend Smurf zero. alert. Legend zero. Interesting. I remember who, who scrimmed them. Someone was complaining about Imua being too good. But... Yeah, I saw that. Someone was complaining about. Was it? It was. It was oh, someone I, I wrote off was. as being a complainer. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who was it? No, <laughs> Greg. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. They also, uh... I've heard that Ploopy, Ploopy Pugna offlane, like, you, you have to ban it. Yeah. Game 2, he went absolutely ham on it. Game 1, they didn't bother picking it. That yeah. could have something to do with it, I think. Ploopy on a hero he can actually carry with. Because he actually won his lane. Yeah, as a solo a, Pugna. Got a ten minute blink dagger. Are teams not banning Puck against him anymore? Nothing. Lane was still okay. It's just... I yeah, I don't know. This is kind of weird. I might watch the replay on this sometime. <laughs> I think it's just still two really good teams. Or should be. Yeah. yeah. Alright. What, what is next? Okay, Noah versus Bruni. I believe this was a stomp for Noah. Yeah, I was surprised by this, actually. Yeah, I thought. I honestly thought Bruni's team was going to be pretty okay. I thought that'd be fine. I figure like I feel like this would be like an even match. But I guess Train just went ham both games. Mm -hmm. Dude, T Swift. We'll start T Swift. Yeah, T Swift X is a better T Swift. Really solid. The much better T Swift. I'm just gonna say T Swift X is a better KDA than a, like lesser T Swift. <laughs> <laughs> the original T Swift. Except not really. It's kind of you get there and like watch the game in those kinds of situations because a lot of the games are like their carry looks really impressive. It's just the carry did what they were supposed to in a game. I, I've, I've watched like, dude, a couple of their so good, as actually. well. I mean, they just, they're giving T-Swift X things like Bloodseeker and Razor, and he just dones mm -hmm. his lane because he's a Bloodseeker or Razor, and then he... I mean, doing what you're meant to do in this league is above average, I think. Do mm -hmm. you think that's enough to move Noah up? Yes. Yeah. How'd you guys so. put him in low tier? I don't know. Hello? I don't know. Someone flamed him, I think. GG. GG. I agree. Put him in GG. Yeah, this is... Let's go. I think it might have been one of those kinds of things where like we weren't putting enough people in the list <sighs> and feel like yeah. we need to like... <laughs> yeah, that was, that was definitely part of it. Yeah, I see a little extension it's in the so, mid-tier. It's, it's really tempting early on to just put them all in mid-tier every yeah. time. There's no you can do about that. Yeah, it's hard to differentiate early. I actually tried to make the mid-tier longer, but uh, it looked weird. This team looks actually pretty solid. I think. 
Yeah. I, I just had a question mark around T Swift X because I only played like one game with them ever. Yeah, the, so. I was a little confused on the rules as well, but I think these rules make sense the way they've done it. Also, why is Bloodseeker a hero now in these leagues? What's hmm. I mean, I still got like four Bloodseeker games. Really? I, I know it's a comfort hero for Red Ground. And Red Ground, T Swift X. Uh, is that the answer else. to dual lanes? I feel like it's hard to play in dual lanes. It seems hard to. If like they have a good pressure lane, yeah, and you can't like... get last hits, you're screwed. At least for Noah's game, it looks like they put the Bloodseeker solo actually, and then they aggro tried. So maybe that's the play. I don't know. Well, they put I mean, solo if they dual lane you, then you're screwed. Crap was playing Bloodseeker too, actually. That's a crap special. That's a, yeah. It seems like a lot of comfort heroes then. Right. Crap and right ground in the same league. I know, we'll see. Maybe the other teams will start picking up as well. Sasquatch versus uh, Happy Hobo? Yeah. My boy, Sisquitch, proving himself. No, yeah, it looks like... Of, as long as Sasquatch stomped. is playing well, he's going to be solid. Yeah. Dude, Mitter Curry Adventures owning. Mm-hmm. He's doing well. I was Not even like on GA, wow. Here. Yeah. He's gonna be first banned every game. Took seemed to have okay games. Well, he played safe lane in game one. I think the biggest thing is that they picked Wisp very early on in the season, and this Wisp has 32 assists out of 42. It's like they're actually moving a lot with Wisp. And a really good job. Yeah, it's a good sign. Mm -hmm. That could be. That could be Olive Garden being solid. That could also be Sasquatch being a good captain. <sighs> I guess. I was a fan. No, of it's the guy who I don't remember. Boosted actually. three thousand MMR. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah you're right. I mean, I talked to Sasquatch about him a bit, and Sasquatch really liked the guy. He's like, yeah, he's pretty positive, and he seems like a decent player to me. It's like, all right. I haven't also, lost any games yet. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. Also, I see another OD pick, and I see another loss. Thanks. Yep. Terrible Stop hero. hero. Still, that hero is really good. T Swift told me. Yeah, it's very, very yeah. powerful. Oh wow, it's you know, it's funny. It's like it's only almost like the one screw we lost. We picked Truck Waffle OD. Hmm. Weird, hmm. weird, terrible hero. Hmm. Please don't pick that. It was a good pick at the time. PSA. It's not the correct player to play it. Anyone who wants to lose, please pick OD. Thanks. Except for Waifu. Except well, he lost too. No. <laughs> Except for Waifu. <laughs> Except for Polo, I think. One of those actual OD spammers who's still playing he, that hero and winning. He also lost. And when he played us in a scrim as OD, a he lost polo. again. A uh, different Snow polo? Yeah, polo. regular polo. Regular polo, not the There are too many polo. polos. Too many polos. They won their, oh, like, Wednesday games or whatever, but whatever. That's a different league. Alright, is it Wildcats? Oh, no, we already mm -hmm. did that one. No, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's matches versus one. polo, I think. I see Wildcats. Versus yeah, Snow Clan yeah, no. versus J9. Okay, right. we, can do, we can do that one, whatever. Wait, which one am I missing? I skipped one, didn't I? Did you? I don't think you did. I don't think you did. Wait, what's this Wildcats one? Yeah, you skipped that one. Cesario? Oh. Is this Cesario's team? Oh, wait, this is this yeah. Smack versus Cesario? It's, it's, I did the Wildcats one. one is underneath the Snail Clan one. Eh, whatever. Here, I'll snip a picture of it so right. you can see. I'm not looking at it, though. No, no, I'm, I'm sending to you. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so yeah, the 1-1 one, one here. So which one are we doing? I, I don't even know which one we're doing. Is a snail clan? Or not snail clan? God damn it. Wildcats versus player. Fire Snake fan club. Okay. Going to smack that a replacement player for Prof Ham is very good. The, is that the A person? Yeah. Didn't they play before in RD Tool? I don't know. I didn't actually I thought they quit the team or e something. Are there two teams called Wildcats? There are. <laughs> no, there aren't. Cesario's team is also called Wildcats. What? Cesario's team yeah. is the only Wildcats. Cesario's team is Wildcats. What? Who's the other Wildcats? Oh, never mind. They just split their series because they named their team two different things. There's Goon Lagoon versus Wildcats and Fire Snake Fan Club versus Wildcats. Uh, been, Wait, what? I've been what? informed no. this is definitely no. not the same. You're, it, they must have done a scrim. Yeah, they must have taken it to scrim. I see. Idiots. Don't do that. Please. All right. All right. Holy fuck! Where were we? Well, we're on the game thing. Right? Might as well look at them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Smack, Smack and Sister guy is very good, but all I'm seeing is like it's divine offlaner playing against an ancient <coughs> player, another ancient player, and crushing it, which is not remotely surprising. Yeah. Play is doing it solo, which 
tools. Oh, wait, he's playing against the Skyrath Razor. I think it's a little different. Yeah, so one oh, no, solo I, I versus Skyrath Razor. I was talking about the other one. Yeah, no, okay. This one, I, I don't know. I don't know. Raw against that lane. I don't either. Oh well. It's gotta be like half decent. It looks to be decent. Was it? No. I have no idea what just happened. It was like, if it was a safe lane axe. It's like that was what happened when we played against um, Ultra's team. It's like we dodged lanes so that even though I was laying against a razor, I was in the safe lane, and that lane is ten times easier. Yeah, because you're a he was in he was in the fucking off lane. Yeah, he, like I, I've seen it happen where like an off lane melee goes even or better against an, a razor just because you can like pull the creep waves behind the tower. There's a Skyrath. I know, but there's a Skyrath. But I'm assuming the Skyrath didn't really do anything. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've literally never been impressed by Aku. That seems particularly bad. Damn, flame. Damn. Looks like Smack actually didn't even have his last pick. This series. Yeah. <laughs> Still went. Still got defeated one game. Mm -hmm. Also, um... Picked Lord 9 just didn't have a good game, looks like. Yeah. For whatever reason. A lot of Zeus is I mean, good, Zeus versus so much, SF. It's it's, it's, no, that's such a right? bad matchup. It's SF really oh, bad, man. yeah. Holy that's shit. like a... That's a very SF-favored lane. Uh, I have never lost mid as hard as I did against Riles when you're playing at SF first. And you like, you Most lose the lane, but then as soon as the rotation comes, you just get blown up, right? It's like in mid-game, if you have a decent game, SF's pretty bad against Zeus. But it's like... Yeah. The lane wait, is like... The lane is so insane. miserable. You can't last it. So I don't know how 109 drew mid drew yeah. mid versus ancient five it's player. So weird. I don't know, that's the kind of way to like watch the game, and like figure out what the fuck happened. Yeah, I I assume I assume SF just died. I mean, because you get all the last hits and denies for a while once you get souls up, and then you he just get bursted die. down. He didn't, he didn't he didn't die until ten minutes. Oh. Also, it's worth noting they were actually winning. Pretty hard. Oracle yeah, died were, like, six times by ten minutes. Yeah, what the f <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at that. Alright. That's uh that's impressive. Hmm. That is uh interesting. I came back from that, you know, that's resilient team right there. Yeah. I don't know, I don't think you can judge much from these games. But... Yeah, I think that's when you have to watch and see how good A is, what Smack's team is doing. I know. Smack also has a history of having a rough first couple weeks. Team, oh no! Team has I to get used like, to his abrasiveness. I think usually he either does well the whole time, or he has a rough first couple weeks and then they give up. <laughs> I.e., last season. Wow. Damn. Tree, am I wrong? Hmm. You guys like gave up after like four weeks and started just drafting random shit. That's no, just what? a terrible team. And we we were crushing games when we did that, dude. We had a 100% win rate with two Battle Furies in our team. We had a 100% win rate with three Battle Furies <laughs> in the team. We had a 100% win rate with me playing five. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. Like Smack has messaged me saying he's never given up. And that truck is dumb. <laughs> okay, one of those things is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you say so. Uh, Want to move on to Amine versus not Amine? Doom Cow. Doom Cow. What a terrible team name from Doom Cow. That's a report. Yeah. What is uh, it? I can't find this. No, name. no you. Versus Kids Boppers, the secret of the fox, which I just love. <laughs> it's got lore. It's Mimi. Looks like Osis went ham. Looks like Doom Cow did surprisingly well, and yeah. then uh, Doom Cow won. Nice thoughts. Yeah. Just I don't know. Surprised Mers was saying that he carried this game, but uh, I'm not seeing it. Sometimes 4K players just go ham. It's like, if you have a good game, you have a good game, right? Like, it's PL too. Do they have any... Mm -hmm. They don't really have anything to deal with PL. That's actually a pretty bad lineup against PL. Yeah. <laughs> mid sounds. Mode retard. God bless. Looks like second pick, Fulcrum is coming through. Mm -hmm. Clutch. Looks like Mers had decent games both times. Yeah. So let's see how good Mers is. Mers did not, from what I was hearing, Mers did not seem happy with his team. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> great. I can't tell if it's like Link Dick's flame or if it's real flame, but. Yeah, I have no idea. It's, it's something. Yeah, this just went absolutely ham both games, though. 
So that's a good that's sign for roots. Am and A's team. Like, holy shit, actually, he went ham. Uh, the rest of his team does not look impressive, though. At least on mm -hmm. these scores. It's like Dolly had a decent performance game, too. Are they missing one of their players as well? I think they're missing their last pick, because Dolly played both games. Mm -hmm. Wow, Maybe. amazing how many teams are listening that missing their last pick. It looks like Doom Cow was as well, though, so... <coughs> Even Stevens. Yeah. Uh, I I would like to see in future weeks Amine and Kodos put up some better scores than this. Yeah. I think... Like, if, if Osus is the only one carrying them, they're not. It's gonna be rough. You can't do it every week. Uh, I, yeah. I 100% I agree with that. Alright, is there anyone yeah, left? It looks like Dolly was there. Yeah, there's week. Mantis. They were, they were missing their second to last. Okay. Other person. Yeah, the is Polo Mantis, we skipped over that one. This is uh, not remotely surprising. Not, not close games at all. Looks yeah, like. it, like, was Mantis playing safe lane? I saw in a scrim he was playing safe lane. Yeah. He's playing undying one game, so maybe safe lane. Okay, off. Yeah, and off then, lane. Core no, he's playing or? off lane. Oh, no, that's just playing off lane. undying. Or he's playing support. Yeah, it's marked as core. But he's playing it's... off lane one game. I saw in a scrim him go safe lane. lane. I think it actually lost them the game. No, it was core undying. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Think. Yeah, what was support Venno? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, ET destroyed Divine Five, uh, Big Mike, both games. Yarp. Uh, I mean, game two. It's oh, they picked Razor into Viper. They last. Yeah, picked Razor, Razor owns Viper. Viper. Mm -hmm. Wait, they Razor literally owns first Viper? picked the Viper. I thought Viper Razor was meant to win that Viper. lane. I don't think so. No, Razor destroys Viper, dude. How does Viper win that lane? Yeah, Can yeah. you just, like, not link you because you're slowed? Alright. No. My bad. I mean, also, he links you, and then what do you do? You turn hell, and slow it's him? It's worse than it used to be. Yeah, Viper it's so bad for that Viper. lane. so bad for, for Viper. I don't know how he lost. The yeah, other lane is understandable. I mean, it, Viper yeah. versus DP. Pretty bad. Like, it's yeah, not Viper like he died or anything, either. He didn't die bad. in lane. Hmm. Yeah, just uh, ban Viper against ET, apparently. Sure. Are also you saying. Who ban Viper pickers, pickers, please? Ban Viper. Nah, dude. Then we'd have to ban Paradise. And Big Mike only had 31 last hits at 10 minutes. We also have to ban Logical. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Magic is extra okay with that. The Magic had the most farm on his team 10 minutes by, like, quite a bit. Oh, none dying. The offlane undying. Yeah. Undying, I mean, undying, 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 what is lane, and then did nothing, shocker. Yeah, I don't think undying core is very legitimate. Nope. I mean, this is, I think Polo's team is very strong, and Mantis' team is trash. They actually not, lost everything on you know, Mantis. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Not much to say. I feel like there's some more potential out of this team, Mantis' team, than this. I don't think they should be getting crushed quite this hard, but... Maybe just underestimating how good Polo's team is. We'll see next week. I think Mantis' team is on the verge of getting pushed down a tier. Can we put them this. mid? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I agree. Would, I would not have done that. I don't remember why. Me neither. I think I said something oh, about Red Ground was. I think Red Ground was talking about... Oh yeah, Red Ground's a big fan of Big Mike. I... Big Mike's okay, but I do think he is one of the weakest Divine 5 mids, despite what all is, his Is he a better say. mid than Blood Ninja? I, he doesn't count. Blood Ninja doesn't count. <laughs> Alright. J requests a uh, quick recap of Game 2 of ours, which was, uh, Skater went ham, and then threw. That's about Pretty it. quick. Nice. Yeah. That, that sounds like... That's, that's usually the opposite of Skater. Skater does Leo nothing for actually <laughs> wins. playing probably the best on his team game one. Well, Leo J actually owned in the scrim I played against him. When he was with his team. When he was standing in, it was uh, he got Rikied. Alright. Is that everyone? I want to say that's so. everyone. Everyone so. that ticketed at least. Alright, I don't care about non-ticketers. They're dead to me. Here's the... I think right, everyone did ticket. I didn't have any Actually, we did, we did get everyone. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember checking. I saw everyone. Let, let's see. Week 2 predictions, guys. I'm just going to go down the list I have, because that's easier for me. Yep. It's also the same as on the site. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm opening up the, along. the stream. 
Where's my thing? I'm use that. Here we go. So first up, we got Sasquatch versus Red Ground. Should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, thing? based on the way the matchups work, everything should be close. I'd put that one as a one-one. I think they're both really good teams. I, I think I'm Red Ground will two-zero. If if I, I had to give an advantage, well. I'd have to give it to Red Ground though. Yeah, um, I would say Red Ground two-zero. I think Sasquatch their team is, is just really down, good. So, yeah, Sasquatch is like. Yeah. Sasquatch is on like a, a bit of a vengeance spree here for everyone calling his team shit, but Red Ground like is the main guy who is doing that at the beginning. I don't know. Okay, if I had to pick a two zero, I would pick Red Ground. But yeah, still, I, I think it might. I think it's. I think it could be a one one though. I don't know. I, could be a one -one. I know one one's like a safe prediction. I, know. But I, I feel bad putting one one straight off the bat, but yeah, I would. I, I think I it's feel like. Right, I feel okay. like this is I'm one of the, the less close matchups. Yeah, you're on the books. What? I can't. Oh my god! I can't I, deny my former captain, dude. It would be true. If one of these teams two O's, they like, are like a very, very good team. I think. Yeah. I feel like but there's bias. Think, yeah. There's All definitely right. bias. Sure. <laughs> sure. I don't deny it. At least no one's denying it. Yeah. Uh, Noah versus Ripley. I'm personally. I have to say one one. You think it's one one? Two O, dude. I think it's I two O for Ripley Noah. 2 -0. Ripley two oh O. Oh my god. Yeah. Ripley's team is. See, this uh, is why I think we switched the first one to a 2 0, because they're all going to be fucking 1 1. Dude, if we they take have the lost average of all way too shit. many pub games with Fiery Carry to predict them winning any games. I have to I don't... say 1 1, dude. Th Alright. Well, okay, well, are you saying 2 0 for Noah as well, Tree? Yeah. I, I don't. I'm not super I'm, I'm, wowed I'm by the Ripley team. I'm not going to be remotely surprised if Ultra carries the game solo, but that's the only way to win in fucking games this season, whereas Noah's team just looks solid. Yeah, I agree. I, I, it does depend though. If if Ultra actually Ultra does pose an issue because they trains a snowbally player, that's actually him not snowballing. Out. If he does get a rough lane, and s but he has <laughs> Noah. I feel like Noah should fix that with support. Mhm. Mm yeah, but there's awful, awful too. Very good support player. Noah's a All better right, one one player. Is. Noah's Thanks. definitely a better support player. <laughs> yeah. More one one. Yeah, just, let's just one one everyone. Let's just Agreed. Go down the list. <laughs> I want to bother this putting one's definitely a one one though. This one should it. be a one one because everyone we've gone through every option. Yeah. Like people, there are people here who think Ripley two zero. People here who think Noah yeah. two zero. I, mean, I can always I can always pretty confidently eliminate a two zero. I feel like like in one of the directions. I mean, at I'm, least I'm not sure. we'll we'll have a two zero right, in, the, go in a bit here. Uh, Truck waffle is gonna get destroyed, correct? Yeah, but what about my team? That's what I mean. Oh, I, I might be overrating Polo, but I honestly expect us to one one. You expect to one one. Yeah, or I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Alright, actually, I'm going to give this I'm solely... I'm very surprised if we This will be a solely Imperium-based decision, because uh, he's not on Charcoal's yeah, team. Yeah, obviously I'm fine. Well, why, why isn't it your decision, too? I think it should be clear Imperium. Dude, I have no idea. Dude. I don't even remember who's on Polo's team. <laughs> Polo's team. <laughs> I don't either. Polo it's like Polo and ET Chance. Oh, okay. I, 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 I feel good. really good, good about team. your guys' team based on everything you've been winning, Charcoal but was going to remember to ban Viper, so I think it'll be... Uh, <laughs> 2-0 in favor of Truck Waffle. No way, dude. <laughs> dude, I just have to say it. These predictions are garbage. I agree with zero of them so far. <laughs> that probably means I, they're I, right. I thought I had a voice in here, but really I don't. <laughs> All right. Okay, at least this one should be pretty agreeable. Is the team there that got go. two right. forfeit wins going to beat the O team with Osis? No. Yes. GSKW two right. zero. I think it's honestly GSKW two zero. I think like Torn Osis might be comparable, and every single one of other players or Gachi's other players has been more impressive. I wow, okay, I haven't I seen a single scrim. I've just seen memeing on the forfeit. Are they actually memeing? Who's on their team? <laughs> I think they're good. It's GSKW hard to say, right? Because they don't, they don't, they didn't have a match. But yeah, right, one one it is. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much whatever I didn't say, put that down. We're gonna continue the trend. Okay, it's torn USS Checo. It's a pretty solid. I mean, hmm. more one ones. No, <laughs> yeah, that's a one one right there. Oh, well, let's put question mark because Gachi didn't uh, play. That's, dude. A, that's, a, that's a fucking two. That's a question. Two zero for Gachi. Two people are saying two zero for Gachi. All right, go two zero. All right, all right. I'll believe in Gachi. Millions wouldn't, but I will. Yeah, I also, a one, oh my god, I thought you were going to 1-1 one, one again, just like fucking the Sasquatch one, two of us were saying 2-0 at the red ground. Get out of here. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't link this to you guys. <coughs> Truck Wolf never accepted my friend request. I did, actually. Oh. No. If you want to check. Too late now. Mm, uh, Ion Dismiss versus Crap? 0-2. Zero, two. Ion 2-0. Two, oh. Alright, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I one know. one. Well, I don't know. <laughs> one one. One one, guys. Uh, it's a yeah, game, I think that's a one. I think it's a reasonable one one. Yeah, the teams are actually seem kind of similar I to me. These are the two of the weakest two O teams. I don't know how they got matched into each other. I don't know. I, I feel like close. thinking Ion two O is kind of delusional. But... Uh, I'd agree. If I was going to give them anyone advantage, I'd go for crap. crap. Is it literally only Charcoal saying two O Ion? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. the easier way to do these predictions is just don't go with whatever. Dude, Red Ground just messaged me, and he was like two O Ion. Of course, he's gonna say that. He's right. part of the Red PSD Ground. PSD thirteen crowd. Red Ground. I don't is care the what the PSD thirteen crowd support says. Dark Seer in a Captain's Draft game, so we could run we could run away from a bloom a uh, fucking Brewmaster, ignoring the fact that Brewmaster can purge Surge. Very smart. <laughs> that has nothing to do with Iron Distance's team. I'm saying Red Ground is a retard. <laughs> Alright, like, like this is one of the ones where if you go against me, I don't really care that much. That's a zero. Two. You go to a crap, if you I want. go to a crap, yeah. Alright. Uh, it's definitely one I could safely put 1-1, one, one, but we'll be controversial and keep putting 2-0s. Danny versus uh, Inquisitor. Yeah, guys. I, I'm sure this is a Danny 2-0. He just messaged me, and he says, we have Iron Distance high tier and crap low tier. How can we possibly <laughs> give crap the 2-0 win? <laughs> you fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't agree with a lot of your guys' ratings, but it's always hard early on. So. Yeah, whatever. It's it's it'll be a fluke week for crap. That's what that's what we're gonna say on the yeah, yeah. on the official reasoning. I don't know. Sure. All right, this one should be pretty one sided, right? Like everyone's yeah. on the same side. I'm like, sure it's Danny Two O, right? Oh, I skipped one. <laughs> hmm? Wait, who's on what team? I actually don't know. It doesn't matter, Danny Two O. Uh, Inquisitor's right, sure. the team Danny with Shrieking Knight, Serrano's. Danny has T Swift, right? Danny's T Swift. Danny that's, that's a two O in favor. And Swoliosis. Uh, that's a uh, that's a definitely a one one. Oh, T Swift haters. <laughs> it's a two O. T Swift's definitely gonna find a way to lose a game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Smack versus Big Fella. Keep this rolling. That's a that's I'll a good Smack two O. Yeah, Smack two O. I don't think Smash is going to win any more games. Actually, no. Season. Big Fella has Luke. Dude. Luke's going to own. Yeah. Luke's an owned Luke, player. Luke is... Uh, How much Luke do you think Smack strong. relies on 109? Luke's not having a good time. How much do you think, think Smack I think Luke is 100% going to destroy 109 in the lane if 109 could not be... No, I don't think so, dude. I think it'll no, be pretty so. even. I think 109 is a pretty good mid laner. Yeah, 109 is really, really good mid, actually. You didn't perform in a series last week, though. <sighs> if I had to, like, if I not, had to choose a winner, I think I'd still choose Luke. Because this matchup is weird, right? It's not weird. If it's you're like not he, curb stomping the guy. It's SF against a hero that literally can't deny creeps. I don't know. For some, I don't know. He, he's an idiot. He's about to trade farm for whatever reason. Smack would like to remind us all that Truck is so fucking dumb. Okay, so like, I don't, what I would not be surprised at all is if we, we need to watch the game. But if 109 just like wins the CS early and it just leaves the lane to go jungle, that he counts as a draw, that. even though I'm sure he had more net worth at like 10 minutes. But in zero. I th I think which either team relies less on the mid laner probably is the. I'm gonna go one here. one, because we have literally no idea. Yeah. We're uh, split. We're one one. Fine. fine. Got, we'll we'll compromise. Satan right, is owning two. Just saying. Uh. Satan. He's not owning. That scrim is it, that scrim is any example. Satan is going to get crippled by his supports all seat. Satan's kind of doing how I'd expect him to do personally. Anyway, let's move on. Waifu versus Ploopy. Ploopy two. <laughs> this is a weird one. Yeah. Yeah. Ploopy 2-0. I think if Ploopy yeah, takes the game seriously. That weird. If, if, uh, yeah. I think Ploopy there's always this like, Ploopy factor where he's going to pick something my, stupid. Wife might just carry a game. Like, it might, yeah, surprise. that's true. Uh, Could happen. I think it's rely relying on Ploopy. Like, the issue that his team had last season with him, at least Saber especially, and I think Dembe too, was like, he'd just pick random crap sometimes, especially for himself. And it, it kind of looks like that's what happened last week with the Knicks pick, almost. Like, he has heroes he could have picked that he could have dominated on, and he thinks Nyx is a good pick, and fails to carry his team. Next game, he goes 19-5 on Pogna. Yeah. So. I feel like there's there's always a chance Waifu can carry, and there's always a chance Bloopy can throw, but if we're assuming the best from both teams, it's probably 2-0 for Bloopy. I'm gonna go 2-0, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I don't think Gofu. you can say anything. Gofu 2-0. Yeah. I want to say it's a Gofu 2-0 if Gofu shows up. I'm like not really sure he's on Cesario's team. I don't think it matters. Gofu is showing up this week. Yeah, Cesario yeah. has... Gofu is Cesario first. the one with the A person? Yeah, Cesario's team looks decent, but Gofu's, I think, is one of the uh, I think Gofu's, team. on paper right now, one of the top five. Yeah. Just double-check I put him top tier, so I'm not looking like a retard. Yep, alright. 
Yeah, no, no offense to Cesario's team, right? I think mean, they're actually pretty Yeah, uh, Cesario just looks like a solid mid-lane team. Gofu looks like they have potential to win it all. You guys gotta stop saying stuff that's contradicting our rankings or they mean nothing. Hey, I checked oh, this time. Mean I checked this time. And they, yeah, they already mean nothing. <laughs> we agreed on that <laughs> as soon as we made them. <laughs> Alright, Potato versus Doom Cow? Who's a better carry potato player, Doom Cow or Potato, yeah, potato Farmer? Potato, potato I, no, I think Doom Cow 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Potato's trash, dude. Alright, I'm gonna trash. continue to not listen to Truck Kappa. That's not... uh, I'm, fi I'm fine with either way, I don't know. Don't I think check, they can either stuff. way, how's the uh, debate? D who did Doom Cow beat last week? They won one to really good dude, team. It's Doom Cow's team, you see it? Thanks. Who did they win one? I don't remember. They both won one. Was, That's why they're facing each other. Dunko had like the really free PL game. Yeah. Oh, they won one on Mane's team. Oh yeah, maybe actually. Ah, oh, whatever, dude. Two O potato. Sure. Oh, potato. I'm down with the two O potato. Uh, I I think it's it's kind of gonna be on. I would not be surprised. This game's gonna be on Mers, I think. Mers is gonna have an yeah. easier mid matchup than normal. Side lanes are gonna be rougher than team. normal. Like Fulcrum's gonna get destroyed, I think, by Potato and FC. Yeah. I think Doom Cow is probably gonna have a hard time too. I'm on the wrong freaking block. If Potato ever snowballs off of like an offlaner is worse than them, or if he doesn't like get griefed in the lane by the, you know, some obnoxious support, he's just gonna do really well. Yeah, I I think that it's gonna be so much on Mer's shoulder this week, and unless he proves me otherwise, I'm not sure he can do it. All right, we have Claire with an I versus Lilith. Lilith two o. Lilith two o. Claire two o, dude. You think? No, it's a little too old. I haven't seen Claire's Claire Claire Oh, no, no, never mind. It's Girl Claire. Maybe not a little too I guess it depends on who's playing. Hey, who's a stand then? Like, we have no idea, right? That's also know. rough. They can't. Okay. According to the RD2O rules that no one cares about, they actually cannot get a stand in for Claire. So if Lilith decides to put his foot no, down. That, no, he can that screw means him over, like, right? any captain could deny them a stand in, but no one in PSG Sunday is that much of a fucking dick. Yeah, so, but <laughs> sure, Lilith isn't a dick? Yes. I don't know. I think Claire's team's weak. I think I feel like, I feel like Polo and they're very comparable teams. I think. I think Claire's yeah. team's alright. Okay, maybe maybe a, maybe a two O's not. Fair. I think Lilith's team. I think I think one one is the yeah, most reasonable. I thought Lilith's team was pretty good, but they're very susceptible. I mean, Lilith's team just looked like Mechia very versus Broly, whereas Claire's team didn't. So. I mean, that team I mean, beat Potato, or should have beat Potato two zero. Yeah, but I don't know. Potato just like just had a bad week. I don't know. I Potato just had a bad year, dude. Like, Mechie was legitimately solo carrying those games. There was no one else doing well. I mean, that's pretty much... Actually, I can't remember what happened to Claire's team this week. Claire's games, like, Fallen had a really good game, despite... Well, okay, maybe Fallen's pretty... I know when we scrimmed them, yeah, it's one game, Waves... Like, waves was, played like, super carried, well, and Polo and had it. decent games. Yeah. Uh, like, Polo and Claire, like, failed to do anything in the games we played them. I mean, maybe I'm biased, because it's, like, the one team we actually lost to in a scrim. And I'm probably biased, because it's the one team we, like, 2 owed on a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're bad. I, I think one one is probably the safest bet the unless there's multiple people saying two o one way. I think they're both fairly, I'd say just they're both fairly weak teams. Yeah, I I I, I, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have said they're Claire's weak. I think they're both like lower mid teams. All right, well, let's talk about one, the Claire one, we one. all care about though. Claire yeah, versus yeah. Mantis. Easy two o. <laughs> Thank God for Mantis. We actually have so, <laughs> so many more things to do now. I'm so glad, dude. We have so many more heroes we can pick. Yeah, I'm not feeling. I'm feeling pretty okay about this. Very good now. Claire just needs to keep getting those double digit deaths easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the formula, dude. Can't mess with it. All right. Well, I'm putting myself 2-0 because anything else would be wrong. And prove I didn't believe in my team. Uh, RB versus RB. Rabbi versus RB. All right. Zero two. This is RB. One team didn't yeah. show up. One team showed up drunk. <laughs> yeah. I think wait, wait, it's just oh, better. Yeah. <laughs> because mind. I think neither of these teams deserve to go 0 2 week also, 1, and now they have to play each other. Uh, very good chance they will have a di different captain by this week. I thought wait, RB, RB said he was. Wait, yeah. what happened? Wait, what's happening to RB? They're going to have a different captain. <laughs> what? I was promised oh, you no, see no, drama no, no. in the announcement. That, Admin abuse here. Uh, don't worry about it. From the, okay, all right, all right. At least Point tell is, us: is it going to be a different player or just a different captain? Different player. <sighs> that makes this impossible to predict. Thanks, Tribune. 
I think 2-0 for Atran. He'll be he right, so, too bad I mean, at about losing. If everything goes well, it's yeah. Azera who's replacing him. So, Ooh, Azera. Yeah, so I think I, that's an easy I have 2-0. no idea who that is. Azera's an old school rd 2 guy. I played uh, with him recently, and we lost Turbo Game. <laughs> yeah, I did that with you as well. <laughs> <laughs> An hour Yeah, ago. that's why I predicted 2-0 for Mantis, dude. <laughs> you guys don't listen to me, though. 2-0 Mantis? I don't know, I, I just feel me. like if a like, just might choke drunk again or some shit. And even if... Like, they could just have any, like, divine stand-in, and I'm pretty sure that team is better. The RB team? Yeah. I don't remember who's on that no. team, honestly, so... I'm not gonna argue like, with you. I mean, Kiss's Cabo is just ten times better than Rabbi's support duo. All right, Asylum, Greg. I think that's fine. Have you played with Asylum since he came back to Dota? I have. I've never lost with him. I haven't Two won. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Trek's taking. All, right, all right. What are we calling this? Uh, since you have all this inside knowledge, I don't know Tree Beard, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I'm pretty lost on this at this point. Two zero for RB Sans RB. All right. Okay. We'll have to listen to Tree Beard then. Skater X Seven versus Mr. Happy Hobo. Who's on the Skater Happy 2-0. Hobo? I think it's Skater 2-0. I yeah. think the Happy Hobo team is pretty garbage. I'm not going to lie. Who's on the Happy Hobo's team? Uh, Happy... Uh, it's like Nera, I think, is his first pick. I have the thing open. Hold okay. Where, where'd it go? I think Skater played pretty well versus us, in general. Sk Skater surprised me when we played him. It's old Skater is gone. In like a dude. good way or a bad way? In a you good way. Say surprise he he isn't the, okay. the greedy piece of shit he used to be. Yeah, yeah he, he was rotating stuff. and stuff. Oh, Nero, Brock, Samson. That was those players. I, know. I still That's don't have any idea. I think Happy yeah, Hobo it's, it's is hard to judge these unknown. Teams when we literally don't know the players at all, but just based off of. Unknown, record, unimpressive right? players with no leadership. That's what MG Happy Hobo is. Wow, that is. is very hard. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, you know, it'd be great if they turn things around and, you know, prove us wrong. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I'll, of course, always. I don't want to see teams fail. Except for ones that steal my name. Uh, but I just expect them to. Alright, 2-0 for Skater. Bruni versus Blood Ninja. Uh, I'm Blood Ninja. very Blood Ninja. heavily 2 Blood Ninja. Yeah. He's in our top tier versus our low tier. Yeah, well, that hasn't mattered tiers. in the past, so... <laughs> what do you and mean, it won't matter in the future. We've never predicted an incorrect 2-0. Yeah, a two O a lower tier team has never two O a higher tier team. Our 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 rankings are immaculate. It just means our There's never been are a ranking better than this before. With the crap on. And then we based our predictions not off of it, <laughs> for no reason. A hundred percent success rate week one, and then just no. Let's just fucking low tier teams doing a high tier team. <laughs> but sure, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. All right. On distance is the one question. Does anyone? Team, I think. Does anyone here question the, the Blood Ninja two O winning Bruni though? No, I think it's just I think maybe hyper, little, but... hyper having a bad game or a couple bad games last week like shit happens. Yeah, I think I think that's more of a one off. If he steps it up, it's a two zero for Blender pretty easily. Very detailed. All right, you... how's it look, boys? We have completed the predictions. Wow! Wow! So bad. I agree with most of them since the first couple. <laughs> The first five were just nobody listening. Like we're at afraid all. of one ones, and then they're like all O twos, and then we do out everyone else <laughs> at the bottom. Yeah, it's always one way or another. I think a lot of these matches could go a number of ways, though. Of course, yeah. it's like so. so okay, wild. obviously they can always go a number of ways. Like every single one of these teams is like actually trash. We can just like throw a game, <laughs> just doing some really dumb shit. Doesn't matter how good the team is. It's already too L. It's kind of standard. But even considering that, I think a lot of these teams are kind of. I mean, the teams close are all going to be really close rank-wise. Right? No, I'm, I'm, ju I'm just saying... I think a lot of these teams, even if they like, if they replayed at the end of the season, they would still be very close in skill, even after they like, figured shit out. Mm -hmm. But right now, it's total crapshoot, because no one's figured shit out yet. Alright, that's fair. Also, Polo's team should be beating our team based on the rankings as well. <laughs> rankings, Omega lol. They're, uh, they're unfallible. They're 100% right. Alright, so, so before we close out today, are there any uh, changes now we've done our predictions and ruined our uh, tiers we want to make to said tiers? Is it time to move Truck Waffle to high tier? I think we move Truck Waffle to low tier and it's all that day. I agree. Might as well. Like, there's the hole there. It's very clearly not symmetrical anymore. Someone must go down. Also, we gotta move Cesario up, I think. 
Um, or I would want, I would like to. An inferior Claire down. What? What? She's yeah, already in the bottom tier. No, 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 no. No, inferior Claire. <laughs> inferior Claire. <laughs> I know what you <laughs> said. Correctly. I heard you. Yeah. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna empty out move, this bottom I tier. would... I wanna put Hope... Alright, this is my thoughts. Yeah, Happy Hobo down. Happy Hobo Happy down. Happy Hobo would... Uh, it, it, it's just the kind of feels unfair to put them in the bottom just because like, we don't know the players. It's that's like, that's a plenty good enough reason to put but, them on the bottom. But do our, I think do there's any objectivity here? Being yeah, yeah. fair, no one absolutely cares no objectivity. That. Also, I think you move. Also, Mantis, down, frankly. Oh, what the? F How did you <laughs> put Mantis mid tier? All right, you guys are retarded. <laughs> you didn't realize was... this up beforehand? No, this is another. Oh. This is a red ground. Two two choices are pretty much red ground based. That's Mantis mid tier and I distance top tier. Yeah, all right. Red ground is fucking delusional. I'm pretty sure uh, I actually am to blame for the Mantis thing. So I told Red Ground that he was a Galactic Brain Captain. Oh yeah. So I'll take the blame for that. Just delete Noah. Yeah. Noah's Noah. not on any tier. No, he's he's oh, on he mid tier. No, he's, he's there. He's mid tier. I moved him. Oh, he's Mantis so down. Cesario up. Truck up. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I'd like MG down. objectively disagree with any of these. Oh, yeah. um, I'm surprised you guys put Ripley top tier. Same. Um, I still think they're good. I think they they showed you, good. dude. Just They're as bad. the ranking predicted. High two old mid. Hundred percent as we predicted. I don't know. You guys, you guys gotta fucking play with fiery carry. <laughs> I, th I, I think, think it'll get bad. better. I think Ripley's mid tier, but I think I the mid tier carry got carry too large, better. so they I've never top. heard T Swift get so frustrated at someone. Well, oh, you didn't hear uh, about him getting off, frustrated right? at shoes were last season, then. You never heard him from getting frustrated at me playing mid. <laughs> yeah, actually, appearance mid is fucking worse than fire. Actually, yeah, I'd agree with That's that. That's for sure. You get him playing mid is like actually just griefing me, <laughs> <laughs> griefing everyone. It's like, oh wow, I'm playing a hero. I don't really know because I'm cavern crawling. I look mid. It's appearing evoker. Oh my god, we won that game, dude. We did because we were against. Not nah, because why they're of us, dude. All right, I think it's gonna be it. Oh, so. Rabbi is still mid tier. I'm pretty sure that should be mid What? Mid Rabbi? No, no, no. Oh, that's perfect now. I think that's fine. Now I can have I, symmetrical. I, I think Rabbi mid is good. No, I'm doing it. I don't, it's I don't not symmetrical. Faith, I don't know. It could be symmetrical, symmetrical. moving down, too. If you move a top tier. No. Yeah. Perfect. It's perfect. Oh. No. We've perfected it. No, Rabbi's team is good. I'm getting complaints about going out of my list order, by the way, Treebeard. Playing that on you for yeah. a dumb match idea? Agreed. Yeah. People are like, what no, order are we following? I will, I will like... definitely take the blame for that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you guys are gonna... You guys are gonna be so sad when Rabbi 2-0's RB and our fucking predictions are wrong. <laughs> That's right, I'm sure our predictions time. will be wrong in I'm many ways. I, I'm going on record saying Rabbi's team is better than this. Alright, well they can show that to me next week. This is, my, this is my captain, guys. That's what I have to deal with. Hey, Trent, don't let me down. Alright, well, uh, that's it for this this week with Waffles with Claire. Uh, we'll maybe do something different next week. I don't know. But till then, see y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Treebeard and Empyrean, for joining us today. And uh, uh, yeah. I'll be back next week because I'm going to be back every week. <laughs> <laughs> watching everyone's games.